Everyone, welcome to Nerd Escape, the comic book podcast. Where we talk about everything overrated and underlooked. No, that was wrong, wasn't it? <laughs> welcome to Nerd Escape, <laughs> the comic book podcast. We do this all the time. Where we talk about everything underrated and overlooked. Correct. I'm your host, Jablar. I'm your host, Cam. And today is a very special show because um, we are jo- our show is coming full circle because yep. our first ever episode was on a comic book a gem of a comic book called god shaper mm-hmm. written by simon spurrier and artwork illustrations uh done by jonas goonface and today mm-hmm. i am so happy that jonas goonface joined us on the show jonas goonface tell us about yourself where, where you're coming from and how long have you been doing art and everything like that yeah um Thanks so much for having me on. Yeah. Uh, I'm Jonas Goonface. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh, we feel you. We're nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I had a couple things about myself, and I'm like, oh, fuck, who am I again? Right. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, how do we do with swears on this podcast? Oh, swear all you want. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a cool podcast. Yeah, yeah. Don't, just don't whip it out or anything. You know, they are good to go. <laughs> right on, right on. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, kicking it in Minneapolis currently. I think mostly I live in Northfield. It's like an hour or south of here. But um, yeah, I've been living here for like four or five years, which okay. is wild. Um, I don't, I don't really know where I'm from. I just like moved around. Um, okay. a lot or i did but, yeah yeah um minneapolis is like uh plenty of crazy shit going on so i'm it's kind of held my attention for a, a, yeah. a while longer yeah. than i thought it would yeah um uh, and and you know a lot of cool art stuff happening too yeah um and uh so i've been involved with like i don't know uh a bunch of cool stuff uh like a lot of good folks out here big hearts um i think fighting pipelines was like mostly what drew me yeah, out here yeah. oh yeah okay yeah, yeah we'll get um, we'll get we'll get those questions later but yeah we've noticed uh if you follow jonas goonface's instagram I think it's, it's a jonas goonface if i'm correct at yep. jonas goonface yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah, a lot of his art, uh, he's putting in work with the protests from, you know, union strikes mm-hmm. to, you know, a lot of uh, people over profit. And I thought it's the Pipeline 13, I believe it was. Um, a lot of uh, your... just three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just three. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just three. But it's like, you know, I don't know what you're, we were talking about. It's like, what is he legally allowed to say on this? Because I, I think you were going through some, uh, <laughs> some bullshit with like actual like courts stuff on fighting pipelines and stuff. Um, yeah but with that uh we just coming full circle with all this uh god shaper was our first episode um mm. i will gush about god shaper my story of this i saw this walking in the comic book store and legit the first issue caught my eye and it was it was a moment it was like oh there's the boom studio like section and i was just like what the hell is that thing and it's you know ine with bud on the the front of it and legit this is one of the few comic books where the art it was like judge a book bikes cover and be like i'm 100%. grabbing this because it's beautiful and i think i actually have <laughs> i think i actually have like three first print issues because i got it and then i took my friends to the comic book store and i was like buy that and like legit like it it's i haven't seen artwork like this before um how would you describe your artwork is if anyone ever like i don't know i have like some words for it but i i would curious to know how you would describe your own artwork Ah, oh, yeah. God, man. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's hard. I, <laughs> no doubt. Um, I, I've got like uh, a bunch of different like influences. Yeah. Um, somewhere from like, shoot, I don't know. Um, I've got like some punk influences. I've got some like, yeah, I don't know. Um, I feel that. I feel, I, mean, that. I, I feel the punk vibe. It's, I like, oh, yeah. It's, it's okay. With these words, this is what, like what I was yeah. It's like kind of like a vagabond, like punk, like gutter punk almost style. And I don't know. It reminds me of like, uh, what is it? Some of the vagabond. Some of the, I like that. A lot. Yeah. No, honestly, it, 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 <laughs> yeah. Like, I didn't mean to be rude. I was like, I'm going to say vagabond, but it comes off. 
<laughs> like, yeah. but it's like, you know, it's like <laughs> Ine, the main character, he has like a vagabond style where, you know, he has like, you know, the, the dusty suit that's torn and tattered. And then, you know, he's traveling around kind of jumping on train carts, if you will. Um, and I don't know, and I think when I saw this and then I started seeing your art on Instagram, I started like kind of making the comparison. It's kind of like um, your art reflected yourself very much in this. And I'm just curious, yeah. like when you were making this, um, by the way, we'll start off like, how is it working with Simon Spurrier and how did you like, how did y'all two uh, connect to collaborate yeah, on this comic book? How was the collaborative process? Yeah. Um... I guess going back to like the style thing for just a quick second, um, yeah. like the Vagabond thing was definitely what I was going for with yeah. the God Shaper comic. Okay. Um, I, I do like, I'll totally employ like a bunch of different styles depending on like the subject matter I'm covering and like who I'm trying to pull in right. with that. Cause like everybody's got like different hooks that'll like. Oh, you hooked us too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That yeah. cover's amazing. Um, yeah, working with Simon was wild. Um, that was kind of a first. Uh, well, I like a first for for working with that kind of author on that kind of scale. Like I've yeah. done some collaboration work before, and not very. Like Simon's an amazing writer. His voice throughout that whole thing, like all of those characters, just they're so fucking rich. Like, Yo, uh, yeah, they like are. the things he was sourcing for just like the wording and the like the melody everybody is able to like, yeah, project was um, like lovely to read. Boom, uh, I can't speak to them like right now, but like. Yeah. They were not treating people very oh, no, yeah. <laughs> uh yeah. So they would I, I think like writers were kind of their focus and okay. the artists were sort of like Oh yeah. Let it spill know, out, man. Uh, we're hey, we're all we all want to know the information on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you wanna be you wanna kick boom in the face right now, do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean they do like I guess give people like a platform, but mm -hmm. uh uh, the, like the way those voices are, are like who they choose uh, to give voices sense. to I'm kind of like it's a little bit irksome I, I think like they'll pay writers who are like pretty well known mm -hmm. and have a lot of skill and talent and like place in the comic book world and then people mm -hmm. will pick it up for that but then also they'll like sort of choose more vulnerable like young artists who are like mm -hmm. new to that sort of industry and <laughs> don't really have like a whole lot of like understanding of like what right. being fucked or yeah okay. um, yeah so i was like able to kind of like negotiate uh okay. like a better rate for myself but uh -huh. still like uh I'm, i don't know i'm curious yeah, did, i get that did, Boom Studios reached out to you, like Simon Spurrier had this, you know, storyboarder script, and did they reach out to you, or did Simon Spurrier find you? Oh, uh, I reached out to Boom, and then Boom oh. had an editor that matched me up with Simon, okay. and uh, yeah. That's um, pretty cool. I had no idea. And, uh, like, and that. Okay. I, like, I read his script and stuff, and I was uh -huh. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is You're it. Like, like, this is me. <laughs> uh, oh, let's go. Um, he kind of had like this wanderer sort of uh like road trip kind of vibe to the yeah. outline and uh which like i've spent a lot of time like hitchhiking and mm -hmm. um you know like <laughs> sleeping under bridges so i was like oh fuck yeah i could like oh, yeah and, like put some heart into this um and uh and i i, I think like they made allowances for like me to kind of inject in, in places. Um, okay, I was curious about that. Like, how much was uh, when it whenever it came to like submitting some art for like I don't I don't I can't even imagine how it is collaborating when you get a script and you have to turn those words into like you know panels and um. But how much yeah. was the give and take for your collaboration when you're like, hey, you submitted something. Um, and you kind of reflected yourself in that artwork in that panel was there was there good length for you to put yourself into everything because it seems like there's a lot of yourself in this i've no i've 
the art the characters are rich and strong and the the cantic and all the stuff but the art just i think it makes more of the story like overall but how much was give and take there yeah i don't know it felt like a a, a fight it felt like ah. uh how much can i get away with and right like, are you gonna tell me to redo this really <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. no uh yeah i don't know um and and that was not with like Simon, by the way, that was like mostly with the editor. Right. Um, our relationship was like kind of a three-way war for like Oy. everybody telling their own story. Um, is is what it? That was you know my experience of it, and um, like you know I'll, I'll just speak for myself there. You know, I, I also didn't know the entire story, and the dumbasses that. Boom, uh, signed me up for six issues and then side to side up for eight issues oh. and then didn't realize oh. <laughs> until like I think issue four and yeah. then they were like, uh. like and by then I was like <laughs> yeah I mean, like they were working me into the ground I mean oh, I think shit. obviously like I was putting you know so much work into those pages and I, I think like some of that is on me for sure because <laughs> yeah, so I suddenly was like, oh, I've got two issues to wrap this up. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I noticed that the wrap up at the end is like all these like the the main antagonists, the group of people who like want to purify everything and make everyone have gods was just like, don't you want to know everything? And he's, he's like, nah, I'm just going to go on a road trip with my friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I mean, uh, I, not great. <laughs> I mean, it's honestly, man, like it's one of those comic books that came out of left field for me. And it's, I reread mm -hmm. it. It was probably the fourth time rereading it. Um, and it's just still like, I'm over here, like, look at this. Like, it's still just, it blows my mind. And it's the art and the writing is great. But it's just like, do you do the colors as well? Yeah. Oh my God. It's just like, it's one of the brightest and most vibrant comic books I've ever read. Like, I mean, I'm looking at a guy, I think clinch getting like his ass kicked and kicked in the face. And like, it's just like, it's just great. It's just, and there's just <laughs> so many paneling. I think bud is like one of my top little characters in comic books that, you know, is super underrated. Um, little, it's like mm. a little ghost vagabond, you know, stealing shit all the time. Like it's, is it's just your artwork. I have to say just, I'm praising you because it's one of my it's favorite really comic books impeccable. of all time. Definitely. It is. Yeah. I, I read it on, upon meeting him and then upon starting the podcast. And so mm -hmm. when I saw your artwork and then I read the story, I was just like, this is a really top tier comic book. And the way I looked at art, because I mean, I like art as a whole, but when I saw your art and with the color saturation and just the color theory in general, I was like, this dude knows how to art <laughs> and it's just like, and I just knew I was just like, this kind of really set the tone for any other comic books that I'm reading. Uh, granted, you know, every artist has their own style, but knowing what yours look like and your substance and then following on Instagram and seeing like everything that you post, I'm like, holy shit, man. Yeah. Like th yeah. it's just, yeah. it's so you, and I'll you say, do an amazing job. I, I'm like, I couldn't even do that, but it's so awesome. If, if you see, <laughs> if you see an artist, and you could be like, right away, you see the art, and you're just like, that's you know Jonas Goonface. I think Ian Bertram's like one of our favorites too, and like yeah. uh, Trad Moore. Oh yeah. Like, uh, like when mm. you, see, it's like those the certain class of people. You see their art, and you immediately like our brain can go, oh yeah, that's like we could see your stuff in a random right. gallery in some random city, and be like, that's Jonas Goonface. Like, yeah. it's, you have a very standalone uh, style. Uh, speaking of, like, is this all self-taught or did you go to, like, a school for this or anything? Um, yeah, I uh, I don't know. When I was, like, getting out of high school, I was like, uh, you know what? Uh, no more desks. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and uh, so, like, a lot of it was me, uh, like, uh, as I was, like, trying to find my feet with mm -hmm. comics. I was like, oh, here's like something where I can kind of like craft a narrative and I don't need like a production team. Yeah. I can kind of do it myself. Um, and I, I, you know, after like a lot of wandering and, and playing with the different mediums, I wound up in Pittsburgh and like oh. that, that place is like a mecca for comic <laughs> creators. Oh, okay. Wow. Like, 
So I was um, kicking it with like uh, like Jim Rugg and Juan Jose Fernandez, like really did a lot to like show me how like comics work and like like lines of like like how to kind of manipulate your eye into right. like a seamless sort of like really good geometry for how to sort of control a uh this like never-ending like tessellation mm -hmm. of um composition yeah uh, and, and and so you know being in that environment was was like really conducive to that i feel yeah. like i was like yeah kind of oh, yeah. blooming but oh yeah no i've i am a still in the prerequisites of trying to get better at drawing and make my own comic book but I, i'm studying like the whole yeah. gutter the gutter system and then you know like just uh -huh. how to you know convey movement convey and that's what stands up alone like we we read comic books sometimes and we can notice like when there's bad like when there's bad transitions yeah. like someone does like a backflip yeah. and all of a sudden they're like on the ground you're like wait <laughs> like that is that didn't work out right. So, no, I'll say you're breaking the 180 degree rule. Of when, like, <laughs> all your word balloons are tangled. Oh yeah, I don't know. But you're. Yeah. I mean, if if I oh, got it's just. And then I gotta say, like, one of my favorite parts in God oh, Share Colin Forward. Bell. Colin Bell also did like a really good job with the lettering. Uh, oh, Colin Bell. Okay. okay, shout out Colin Bell. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah. No, it's and even like, dude, your like your full panel pieces where it's like the the special moves. Like, oh my god, like the. Like him <laughs> and, and Bud doing this special move, and he just gets on his face and like, oh, it's, it, yeah, it just I've never seen anything like it, and just uh, I can't say enough about God Shaper listeners. If you haven't, hey, here's an opportunity to go back to the first episode of Nerd Escape. We started this because of the pandemic. We were like, hey, what do we do? And it's uh, she had her own YouTube channel where she drank beer and reviewed books, which is was pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She loves craft beer. This one, um, and then the, it was my my comic book bookshelf and then someone was like i should do a podcast because when people leave my house they leave with shit like this like bring it back but you can have this to read so <laughs> um yes god shaper is amazing if you haven't read it go, go to your local comic book store and get it it's an amazing comic book um follow Ju jonas goonface at jonas goonface and ig because his artwork on there is amazing as yeah. well um but jonas sent us another uh title called jailbreak um, yes. And the uh, the writer, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing this right. It is uh, is it Jack Arias? Jack Arias? Jack Arias? Yes, Jack Arias. Uh, yeah, Jack Arias. Yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll say that NSFW, right? Yeah, that's right. So I will say I'm a virgin to this. So you thank you, Jonas. <laughs> sitting this, so I'm sitting over here. I like think I opened the file at work, and I'm just like, I don't even, I didn't know what NSFW stood for. <laughs> I wish you would have texted me beforehand. <laughs> and I legit was like, oh shit! Like putting my phone away. I was like, okay, I'll read this at home. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, oh, it's yeah, gonna be, it's, it's gonna be a little naughty. Yeah. I was like, it's gonna be <laughs> naughty, I guess. And then I was like, oh damn, that's like, uh, that's a head right there. <laughs> yeah. And so. But she's, she's uh, our manga shelves over here. I call her 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 collection of booby books. So she's a veteran to those as well. Well, I like <laughs> in my earlier day, just days in college, I would read a lot of smut and like romance books just because they were good and they were enjoyable. And I was like, all right, this is cool. And then as I aged, I like, man, maybe I should set these things aside. <laughs> Uh, and then I no. <laughs> <laughs> That's top shelf literature. No, it, I mean it's so good. And Jailbreak yeah. was really, really good. And I really liked like the plot as a whole and how everything mm. really fed into each other because I really liked the system of oh, I don't want to get too much. Well, if, if you, <laughs> yeah. we don't want to spoil anything for people, but it's like, can you explain jailbreak to me? Because to me, I like to explain to her. She was like, no, that's not what it's about. I'm like, yeah, you got to like orgasm to break out of this like techno. So I don't know. Could could you give us like how you started working with uh, Jack Arias and the uh, whole concept of this and everything? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, well, like, uh, I guess as a little bit of background, um, after finishing God Shaper, I was like, oh, I guess I don't want to do comics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then um, uh, I had a friend who, uh, well, uh, Leah Williams, um, 
she's a great writer uh works Sounds for familiar. marvel we did like um i think like the first chapter of this like mark twain mysterious stranger porn okay adaptation. cool um, and we we're like <laughs> like let's do some gross romance yeah <laughs> <laughs> slash, uh erotic comic yeah um like do what we want to do fuck it uh and slipshine picked it up uh -huh. um they host um that comic esseldorf and then also uh jailbreak okay cool um yeah they're pretty cool i feel good like endorsing them they're like okay. pretty legit with their like consent uh okay good atmosphere of like you know yeah safety and age appropriate shit which Love like it. you don't, don't always get with that genre of comics um but uh jack rice is a old pal um <laughs> like we met online doing both doing like uh, web comics and they run uh bicycle boy uh, okay it's like a comic it's really good everybody should read it okay bicycle boy um, <laughs> yeah I really like their writing, and um, yeah, like the romance, the erotica. That was like kind of a new genre for me. I'm more like okay, acclimated to like, like action adventure. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask, yeah, like, your, was this your forte, or is this like was a new venture for you doing NSFW? Yeah, like. Like comics, I I can do, uh, yeah. but like the, this is a genre, like totally different beast. So, yeah, uh, yeah. You did a great job. Like, anybody that does, <laughs> I, I would say like anybody that does comics, like I mean, like you could do porn, yeah, sure, but like if I would encourage you to like explore some different genres because it'll kind of like give you a different like language right. and. Uh, you know <laughs> give you some new tricks um, yeah <laughs> no 100 percent. yeah as i was reading um, it i was like on some of the screens where you know very graphic and erotic i was like this takes some skill to think about <laughs> like it really does like and i imagine <laughs> i imagine you just like draw reprints like how many times i gotta draw this guy like like you know <laughs> doing this like yeah but it was for me i was like okay like this looking at the art itself i was like this is very intricate <laughs> i would say it was a very intricate uh, read it was a very uh pun intended it was a very fluid read <laughs> <laughs> like it read yeah. very well there's fluids everywhere yeah. and <laughs> yeah i i thought it was i thought it was just put together really well and just the concept as a whole was really really good yeah and then you're i mean the fact that you illustrate and you do your own colors because most comic books have a colorist and everything like that uh, your colors just Ooh. continue just to just to pop like it, it's so good um I guess uh, to explain j what Jailbreak is a little oh, yeah. bit, it's it's kind of like a sort of like a cyberpunk um, story with like a big mega corporation that's got brain chips in everybody's heads, and uh, yeah. there's like some sex hackers who are like, ah, we want to you know quote unquote jailbreak these chips so that people have like more autonomy right. over like their digital lives and like these tools that like we have but like our usage of them is very like limited and mm -hmm. commoditized and uh and, and so you know in order to like, like exploit some vulnerability in the chip like some orgasm or other like high emotion crazy brain stimulus will, yeah like, uh, open up a vulnerability and then they hack it yeah like, gotcha. oh, right now you're free yeah <laughs> <laughs> and you're tired and yeah <laughs> you can uh, join this like anarchist island community yeah, yeah. it was really nice yeah. to see the sense of community in jailbreak and it was mm -hmm. nice to see kind of like the the barter system so it's like okay we do this for you and one of the characters I think provided seeds to grow because like they're seeds that aren't 
basically they're a commodity and aren't used by the new age. So it was like jailbreak mm-hmm. me and I'll give you the seeds so you can grow it, you know, in your own space. So I really like that sense of community because that would be very nice in today's world where everything <laughs> is in about capitalism. So yeah. I really, really liked seeing that part of the story. It was great. Yeah. And I'll also say with jailbreaker and even God shaper and reflecting to your art, I can sense like you said, like Minnesota or Minneapolis, where you're at has a lot of love and your heartfelt your art. I also love it because your art, you convey like feelings and emotions and community and like, you know, like in a in a bud's relationship like just hugging like you're you're very good at that you're very good at showing compassion in your comic books um and just your art period so i just had to say that oh yeah and speaking of that we notice we follow you on ig and we notice a lot of your commissioned art um you know there's some for like you know tour dates for bands and community things but you also have stuff for you know curbside com- compost you know as i said union protest um uh, protesting a pipeline your art reflects all that very well. Um, can you describe like why you do that art and like if it's you know why it's important to you in a way? I think uh, I guess I would like term that uh, movement art. Yes. But, um, uh, so like the communities I'm like we're under all kinds of different like stresses and attacks, and like I want like if there is a skillshare happening where mm-hmm. people are you know being instructed on like how to provide their own like you know medical assistance to other mm-hmm. people or self or like uh, harm reduction kind of like skills and yeah. uh tools like i have an ability like as an artist to kind of take those concepts mm-hmm. and, and 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 with like a glance kind of like explain those ideas a little bit better to somebody right. who wouldn't like necessarily have a lot of time or energy or will to look into those ideas yeah um and i like i take a lot of inspiration from uh movement artists like um like emery i think it was like the minister of art for the black panthers he would do like comics and illustrations that would go out in the black panthers like oh, yeah. newspapers yeah, yeah. emery douglas was it emery douglas yeah, yeah. emery yeah. douglas yeah. is an american graphic artist he was a member of the black panther party from 1967 until the party disbanded in 1980s okay yeah you don't miss um like so people even if they couldn't like read uh, they could like you know see these illustrations of people getting their needs met, their groceries, um, <laughs> right? Biting pigs, uh, yeah. and <laughs> you know people can see themselves in the struggle mm-hmm. so easily that way. And yeah. uh, and then like here in Minneapolis, we also got uh, Ricardo Levens Morales. He also okay. does. Um, he worked with uh, MPD One Fifty did like a lot of anti-cop stuff okay um in minneapolis just kind of showing people like what their communities could look like without the police like what are some alternatives right Um, yeah because it's important and yeah so like giving people like an opportunity to visualize like i don't know some vision of the future that isn't uh you know under some boot is uh super important and yeah, uh, yeah. and your art conveys that very well jonah's putting work with his artwork because oh yeah i mean as much as a meeting can you know a meeting and a protest can happen that day your art like will be lasting forever on that and it promotes it um so no that's a, the the movement art yeah I, I, that's a new term for me that i i mean i've heard it before but the way you put it that's perfectly describing your artwork and we love it every time we see it we're just like yeah. hell yeah like uh keep it up and I guess I have to ask too. If you do commissions, we yeah. all we we wanted to ask one day maybe do our new logo. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll work that out on the ready. side later. <laughs> Nerd Nerd Escape is logo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw yeah. you went to did you go to Poland not too long ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so through like the land defense projects we got here with like pipelines and stuff, I was mm-hmm. also 
connecting with some other folks who do like uh, some forest defense in Poland. Okay. And then um, they're really sweet. Uh, so got to connect with like a lot of super nice people. Check out like the anarchist scene, see what, how yeah. people are kind of like making decisions over there uh -huh. and contrasting that to like our groups over here. And, right. Um, that was pretty spectacular. Also met some cool movement artists down there. Yeah. Um, oh, sweet. Who've been holding it down. And yeah. Um, yeah, just super hella lovely people. The hitchhiking is great. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Out here, I was like, I think I'll give it up. But then I went to yeah. Poland and I was like, everybody's picking <laughs> that me up. Let's go. That's beautiful. It, it's, like <laughs> I said, like this, the, the vagabond kind of art. And I said, like, it reflects you so well. And like, I don't know, but with that, there's just, you have to trust and I don't want to say depend, but I'd say trust more so. I'd say with traveling and hitchhiking, I've never done it before. But I imagine with that, you have to like trust humankind to like not pick you up and like, you know, be a typical like backseat, you know, axe killing murderer, I guess, in a way. So I don't know. I just, I that's why I wanted to have you on this podcast because you seem like a full hearted person who, you know, we could just have a nice conversation with. And um, yeah, this is definitely a notch off my checklist it's like i said nerd escapes coming full circle we first comic book we put on here was god shaper and now we're interviewing the artists and and i always have to say if you don't know about jonas Goonface, follow him on ig his community outreach and his boob and art it's like honestly that stands out more so than god shaper because it's still it's it's impressive in a sense where you're out here living your life and going to different countries and you know be that's brave i think that's brave hitchhiking like i don't know i've I would be scared to be honest with you. <laughs> I think I would be yeah. Well it's uh, it's different for me. You have a but... crazy you have a crazy story on the road, just real quick, you could share. Ooh, yeah, crazy bro. Well, I guess everybody telling me uh when I was going to Poland, they were like, Oh man, be safe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen in Poland. And I was like <laughs> they they were all laughing over there. They were like, be safe. Like you are getting shot. Like oh yeah. People are dying hella out there like, yeah. in the US. And yep. I was like, yeah. <laughs> for real. Good, good for yeah, good respective. Comfortable out there. Yeah, okay. that's good. I'm also on uh Twitter under the same name. And okay, then cool. Jonas porn face, if you guys Jonas are interested <laughs> in Yeah. Oh yeah. I wanted okay. to say I follow you on Twitter. I can't remember. Yeah. I'll have to look. <laughs> oh yeah, but just yeah. So Jonas Goonface and IG, Jonas Pornface on Twitter, and then <laughs> yeah, there you go. I should have thought of something better. No, I love it. No, that's great. <laughs> and I think your uh, your Zoom thing says like eco uh, anarchist uh, nihilist. I believe. <laughs> uh, is it a nihilist? <laughs> I can't remember how it's pronounced. <laughs> a nihilist, maybe? Uh, <laughs> but it, yeah, it was great meeting. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, yeah, man, it's yeah. it's been full circle for this, and I we hope the best from you. And yeah, man, keep putting in the work, and we'll stay in contact, bro. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Um, yeah. Who else do you guys have, like, lined up? I'm kind of curious, like... Um, we are sending out emails right now yeah. um Tyler. honestly we're we're kind of, so we're, we're like we're trying to like swing our bat like the big the big names here and there and then we also are just like contacting like local co comic book artists you know ones i have like a, a friend i used to know in austin who's been trying to kick off his comic book forever so i mean not, not that we're against the whole marvel dc big 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 world thing where we'd love to have those mm -hmm. artists on but we want to give you know attention to people like you so that's that's what we're, we're kind of here for like yeah, no, for real. And it's it's awesome. So uh please, uh Jonas Goonface on IG, Jonas Pornface on Twitter, go by God Shapers Port, uh Jailbreak. Where can they find Jailbreak at? Jailbreak's on uh Slipshine Oh yeah. Com? Slipshine, yeah. there we go. All right. I think our yeah. minutes we got one minute left on Zoom. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, uh, like it was pending mortality. Right? I, I saw the timer. I was like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> but it was great meeting you, man. Keep, it really keep was. putting in the work. We'll stay in contact with you. And um, yeah, look out for a, a message from us. We'll have a some kind of summary. We Seriously, we've been talking to you before we had this lined up. Like, we want you to do our logo in the future. So <laughs> yeah. Right, cool, cool. I'll keep that in mind for sure. For sure. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> this is Nerd Escape, the comic book podcast. Where we talk about everything underrated and overlooked. I'm your host, Jablon. And I'm your host, Cammy. Thanks, loves. Keep your head up. Thank you.